okay um okay so uh, about this event uh, this is a uh, knowledge management cafe it is part of the km for dev knowledge cafe series of events which we started from um, last year so we will tell you a little bit more about what game for dev uh, community is um, so uh, this cafe uh, it has a very special focus on youth uh, both young by age and uh, young by heart uh, both so and this is a precursor uh, a cafe that will lead uh, and uh, which will culminate in the youth leadership forum launch which is uh, being planned in october um as i said this is being organized by uh, km for dev so what are we going to do today we are going to um yeah as uh, the agenda um just uh, welcome in introduction by both me and uh, rocio um then you're going to hear from gladys camboy who is a very young leader from kenya who is part of the km for dev core group and a very dynamic um, youth leader uh, about uh, the idea behind this youth leadership forum and why we are doing it um then we have something nice we have a scenario uh that is written by uh, tina our uh, young leader from caribbean so she will take you through that scenario and uh, some questions related to that scenario which will be a conversation starter for breakout rooms so then we are going to spend a lot of time in small groups uh, uh you know prompted by the scenario that we just heard the story that we heard um and talk about what opportunities and challenges are there we come back to a plenary uh and then we close with uh, talking about next steps um and then uh, we will have an after action review we close the session then uh for a few minutes if any one of you wants to join uh with the facilitators to do our after action review uh you're free to linger and and provide your feedback and and uh, yeah and and your valuable suggestions so that said um we have a small poll uh to uh, uh determine just for us to get an idea of how many uh of you you know know of of came for dev um and uh, are participating like where are you in terms of engagement with game for dev so the poll is visible on your screen so if you can just answer it it would be really good for us just to get an idea of the crowd that is in the room okay we wait one more minute because i think hmm? we have 20 20 five answers 26 um we have more people joining so i guess they're you know participating um okay one more minute okay um here it is wonderful so okay so we have a lot of people who are uh, part of the game for dev community which is really really good um but uh, we also have a significant number of uh, people uh, who do not know about uh game for dev so um wonderful so uh, let me just uh, uh uh share a little bit about what came for devis so it's a global uh, community of practice uh, on knowledge management so with knowledge management professionals so um we have uh, people from un agencies academics um ingos local ngos students uh and uh, uh, yeah a whole uh, a group of people from all levels of the hierarchy 
uh, coming together and who are the only condition being that you, you are passionate about knowledge management and allied fields. So it's a thriving community. Um, it's a moderated community. You have volunteers who moderate it um, every month. Uh, and uh, it's a very valuable peer support uh, uh, group that we have uh, in the development sector, basically, but even beyond that, uh, around knowledge management. So to know more about what KM for Dev is, um, you can go and uh, visit the website, which is km for devorg um, uh, and uh, most of these other links you will find from there. Uh, there is a wiki of all the conversations we have had. Uh, there is a D group, so you can participate in conversations uh, through email. So you go and register yourself there. Uh, follow us on LinkedIn, on Twitter, our YouTube channel, um, our Facebook group. So connect with us uh, via all these channels. So I will put it in the chat how you can connect with us on um, email. So and join the D groups. So uh, thanks, uh, Roshio. If we can go next. Okay, so over to you, Gladys, uh, to tell us about the Youth Leadership Forum. Uh, thank you, Sri Ficha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. My name is Gladys Kemboy from Kenya. I am a committed and passionate member of KM for Dev, and I'm really passionate about uh, knowledge management in the development sector. So welcome to our today's session about uh, KM for Dev Youth Leadership Forum. And we are so grateful for this uh, opportunity. This is a platform where it creates space for young people like all of us. And it's also a platform where we have, um, you know, like-minded organizations uh, in the development sector who are passionate to nudge youths, uh, who are interested in uh, knowledge management and even addressing the issues on sustainable development goals. So um, now I'm going to share about why uh, the purpose of uh, Youth Leadership Forum, one of them is to provide a platform for broad-based uh, youth empowerment and participation uh, in knowledge management and research. Most of us, we have challenges even on how to do research and um, where we can get members to nudge us and came for them has given us plat uh, such a great platform. And then number two is to create a space to share stories and experiences uh, for shared learning. We can learn from uh, came for their uh, partner organizations. And now we need to, why you should be part of this uh, youth leadership forum. Uh, one of them is to become a recognized young thought leader in uh, knowledge management. Number two is to be part of a global community of young people interested in knowledge management. At the same time, we have also we call them KM elders who are really supportive to Niger House. And I am blessed to be one of them where I've been um, made up by different KM elders at KM for them. And then number three is to participate in round tables, uh, covers other learning activities with sector experts. Uh, we have various roles at KM for them, such as knowledge covers and also participating in the journal and even in the research community, which uh, was recently uh, launched. So there's a lot of opportunities where you can participate and have a vision for your country. What can we have together as youths to um, contribute? And then another one is to engage with experienced professionals and peers uh, who are in the area of the knowledge management. Because many of young people, there's a lot of opportunities, but we are not aware. Um, or even some of them, they have never heard about this and came for them has given us a platform where we can access opportunities and also mentors uh, in the larger ecosystem. So um, now why we need this, uh, we'll be launching um, the Camp for Dev Leadership uh, Forum October, where Tony Citoni is going to take us through and share what is the way forward and how you can engage and be part of representing your country and have a vision together about uh, Camp for Dev. Because this is a platform for all of us. Um, Camp for Dev, it's a DNA for various countries. And also, um, we create a vision and vision for our countries. So um, now, 
if you want how to become a part of the camp for the social uh, media share the power how you can join we have various uh, social media platforms we have the linkedin the twitter handle the whatsapp uh, the, the facebook and also um there's a chat discussion where you can engage and be part of the member and we look forward to having you on board to be uh, part of this um part of the uh Young Leadership Forum at KM for them. So thank you. I would like to hand over to Sripitya to take us through the next session. Thanks so much, Gladys. Um, yeah. So for those uh, who are joining now, uh, please introduce yourself on the chat, uh, your name and uh, the country you are based in. Um, and we will repeat how to join KM for Dev once again. Uh, towards the end. Um, so let's go to the to the uh, proper discussions and, and, and the meat of the issue. So um, we want to hear from you. But before that, uh, we have Tina uh, Reina from the Caribbeans, uh, who will take us through a story, a scenario. Um, and based on that scenario, uh, we will have certain questions that we will answer in small uh, rooms, uh, which will contribute to the development of the TOR or the charter for the Youth Leadership Forum. So over to you, Tina. Thank you, Sarah Deva. Uh, so hello again. I am Tina Rainier. I'm from the beautiful island of Jamaica. I'm based here in Halifax, Canada, and I'm happy to be a part of the KM for Dev family. And just to share with you, we all love stories. So I'm getting into the meat of the matter for um, the storytelling. Rose is a very passionate person about using knowledge management and research. She's actively involved with local youth groups dedicated to meaningful data collection and sharing knowledge in creative ways. However, Rose, like many young people, experiences several roadblocks to achieve her dream career. She lives in a country where there are limited opportunities for advanced education and jobs in specialist fields such as knowledge management. She spent a year doing multiple jobs, saving her earnings and migrating to another country. Rose eventually migrated to another country to pursue a degree in order to gain better prospects for meaningful employment. Like many immigrants, Rose had difficulty adjusting to her new country, but with the help and support of friends, she developed a timeline of priorities, did internships, and achieved all things, including completing her degree. However, there were still other barriers for Rose. Rose had to explore jobs in her field that pay well in her new country. She did extensive job hunting. She sent out her resume to many organizations, but many employers required that she needed five years experience or more in research and knowledge management. After getting no calls for an interview, Rose consulted with an employment counselor or specialist from a local center to help revise her resume, do interview coaching and polish her social networking profile. After months of incorporating these suggestions, she finally landed her first major job with an international development nonprofit. Rose used her new position as a platform to increase youth participation in research and knowledge management. So that's the story. You will be place into bro breakout rooms with some interesting questions. I will move on to what the questions are.
You can read the questions. Mm -hmm. Yes, Rosha. Okay, so uh, we will uh, give you the link to Padlet. Uh, so um, we will keep sharing the questions uh, here on the screen. Uh, but um, when we paste the link for the Padlet for you and you will go into your breakout rooms, uh, the questions are there. So Padlet is pretty easy to use. Um, you can see those questions and uh, below those questions, you just... Uh, write your uh, uh, answer like you click on that plus an add sign uh, and post um, a note you can either add text or images um, or links or documents or anything that you wish uh, be very um, practical operational uh, in your input um, and uh, in a way we are co-creating the charter uh, so you are co-creating the the Memorandum of Understanding for the Youth Forum of KM for Dev, right? So uh, be honest in what you expect, what we want. Some we can solve, some we can park for later to solve. Um, there is strength um, in being together. Uh, Andrew, I see your hand up. I'll give you a chance to ask your question in a minute. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, so we will paste before we... Um, go into the breakout room uh andrew please your question i will paste the padlet link in the chat yeah just to confirm uh is research by by research means we're doing research for knowledge management for youth or the youth doing knowledge management research research as in any research young people in research because research is a field of knowledge management doesn't matter what research you are doing. Any other question? Does anybody want uh, uh, what kind of fields you are talking about in terms of knowledge management? So knowledge management per se, um, anything to do with community building, community management, um, anything to do with research, uh, that, that's also under the umbrella of KM. Uh, MEL is an umbrella under KM, okay, monitoring evaluation uh, and learning. Uh, learning per se, if you're interested in any career options there, that's also under the umbrella of KM. So anything where you are either generating new knowledge or curating knowledge that is already there, uh, where you are involved with systems uh, to store knowledge, any enterprise content management systems or uh, document management systems. So anything, anything to do with systems to manage knowledge, taxonomy, ontology, uh, the rest. Any uh, uh, job or area where you're packaging knowledge for different um, audiences, so social media, digital media, uh, any any of those aligned fields uh, and any where where you are uh, involved in evaluating um, or organizational learning related uh, uh, jobs. So those all come under the purview of KM, um, including uh, journalism, academia, professorship, research, PhDs, everything. So um, if you are unsure about if it is uh, KM or not, uh, assume that it is KM and uh, state your challenge or opportunity, right? Uh, so I have pasted the uh, Padlet link. Uh, so in every group, breakout group, uh, figure out the very first thing you will talk about is who is going to take notes. So who is going to write on the Padlet, right? So uh, give a person a responsibility um, one of you just take up the responsibility to start discussion and facilitate the discussion. Then you will have half an hour. You can have a really good discussion. Um, go ahead. If you have any problems, put it in the chat and we are there to support you. And I will be visiting the rooms in case you have any, any problem.
Okay, so I'll send you now. Enjoy. Okay, welcome back to all of you. Hope you have uh, interesting conversations. I could see the Padlet was really full. Very interesting comments. I'm sure the conversations were as well. I'm gonna give you a little bit more time because we left the rooms open for a minute. So if we could close what they were saying. But welcome back to all of you. In one second, everyone should be here. People have attended. Okay. Is Vividia, you tell me if you want me to share the screen? Uh, yes, Rocio, if you can, please. Mm -hmm. Slide 15. Okay, welcome back uh, team. Hope you all had a nice uh, discussion um, and uh, hope the time this um, in this cafe uh, was enough to have some meaningful conversations in your small groups. Uh, so what we are going to do now will be a plenary. Uh, so around those questions um, and uh, yeah, so uh, do you uh, want to, from each group, uh, either the facilitator or the note taker, do you want to uh, say any two major uh, points of discussion, anything uh, that was of significant, uh, you know, that you thought was significant? So group one, I know we you didn't record uh, which group you were in, but from any group, just start. I see Andrew's uh, hand up, Andrew, so Andrew. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, well, first, uh, I appoint myself as the facilitator in the breakout room because there was a bit of silence. So uh, thank you everyone for uh, trusting me as a facilitator in the breakout room. And also I didn't have time to uh, note in the padlock, but I have noted here in my uh, uh, note. That I will give it to Rocio. Okay. So um, the, probably, my group can add this, uh, can add later, but to my perspective, I think two of the most uh, repeated keywords in, in, in our breakout room was the importance on clarity about the forum. Uh, uh, we were discussing a lot about how might we uh, contribute to the uh, uh, forum because we are still grappling to to really understand about what was the forum about, the goal, the, the output. There are some, there were some, some, some uh, uh, suggestions on the forum. Uh, for example, uh, uh, there needs to be a sharing of good practices and strategies of GAM. And also uh, there, even there needs to be, uh, I don't know, sessions or uh, opportunities to learn even the fundamental knowledge, the fundamental understanding about what is them, because we're talking about you in the forum. Uh, and also there needs to be, uh, well, there's also an aspiration, if it's possible, uh, the forum can be replicated or uh, probably distribute, at least the output can be distributed to uh, countries where participants were coming. Uh, so it, it, it's not, only for the participants. So I think the first, the first point is about the clarity of the forum itself, so people can get on board on that. And the second, I think this is for me. Uh, yeah, uh, in the group, we were talking about how can should uh, can be more relevant to uh, uh, the current situation. We're talking about how COVID nineteen. Uh, brings a lot of data and can can use those kind of data to be to be uh, can can play a role on those COVID data 
and we're also talking about uh, how can can be more relevant when it is linked or associated with innovation, sustainability, uh, and also uh, how can can uh, be more useful when it applied uh, in uh, practical situation. So I think the second one is about how can can stay relevant, uh, both in terms of the situational, the current situation, and also the uh, uh, the diverse context where everyone is working on. Yeah. If anyone want, from my group want to add, please do. Brilliant, Tendro. Thanks so much. Um, anybody from other groups? Uh, for me, I would want to comment on, on two things. Yeah. especially yeah. with regards to the Tina Reina uh, case study. Uh, on our group, uh, we, were, we were glad to be blessed by uh, Pavel Kraus, who was also at one point a migrant. So he, he has risen through the ranks to become um, a knowledge management trainer and uh, a knowledge management professional, who is, who is uh, the president of Swiss Knowledge Management Association. So. Uh, I think I think that is a test that uh, as young people, uh, nothing is impossible. So we have the possibility to rise through challenges and to become whatever uh, whatever personality that we can put our mind into. Also, uh, a thing that has been very prominent is that uh, young people uh, must take initiatives uh, management that is uh, seeking connections, especially in these platforms like came for dev and also reaching out to, uh, to people to, who believe they can be mentors so that they can be able to show them the ropes of being a knowledge management professional who has values and who can be able to make an impact uh, in the sphere that he or she is influencing. Thank you very much. That was wonderful, Raymond. The other group? Okay, I'll give I'll give a try. Um, I think we went through the, the questions and then um, some of the things that we, we thought would probably be interesting to, to be discussed or to be highlighted. Um, uh, we agree with a lot of the points that um, was mentioned inside the Padlet. Um, on the question about knowledge management and research for KM, um, one of the things that um, we raised was um, KM also can be um, a contributor towards artificial intelligence projects because this is something very new and it's emerging within the whole world right now on artificial intelligence. So as we know, um, data information is something that um, um, KM needs to be in. If not, we will be left behind. So um, we have a role to play in, in the AI projects, whereby um, things about ontology, things about um, making sense of the data. So um, we, we need to work, into, we need to get our, our heads inside AI as well. Um, second thing about research, research is a technical area. Um, it's, it's, it's huge, um, it has its own um, structure, body of knowledge. And for young people to get access into research, I think perhaps what you can do is that young people can be given exposure on you know um, big simple way of doing research, particularly looking at um, researching what are the current issues within their own ecosystem, but then what are the issues within their own um, you know their houses or the community, and then try and bring that up um, through using knowledge sharing practices such as collaboration, knowledge sharing, storytelling, and at the same time crowd sourcing those ideas and how to solve those problems. So in a way, we can teach a younger generation, um, the youth, how to actually um, use knowledge management. And I said, when they are getting into you know, um, the workplace, those experiences can be you know, incorporated into their CVs, um, and then they can actually um, mention what they've done you know, in, in, in their own way then this will help them get access into um, you know, future jobs and, and so on. And lastly, with regards to um, how KM uh, 
the KM Youth Leadership Forum can help. I think a lot of those ideas um, is very helpful. And one thing in particular that I think um, very good is that we need, I think the forum can also bridge with um, organizations trying to find if they can actually, you know, demystify what is knowledge management in the organization because KM in organization can be very huge. It can be from curation, it can be from data, it can be from um, engagement with people. So what, what expects so that that in a way will help the youth to actually identify what are the areas that they can actually go into. And then, um, yeah, I think that, that's about it from, from our group. Tony, anything that you wanted to add if I've left anything? No, Arif, I think you've covered it quite well. Thank you. Brilliant. Other groups? Uh, maybe oh, no. I can. I see feature. Yeah, I can share from our group um, where we had Nafila, Jessica, and Rose. There's a lot that uh, came out from our group. Um, first of all, like many youths, they don't understand the clarity what is KM and what is not KM. And one of the things that stood out strongly is uh, there's a room where we can partner with uh, universities, young people in various universities to come and learn. And KM for Dev will be a youth leadership program will be a space where these young people could interact with also uh, practitioners who are already practicing KM and Jessica shared a lot uh, where she's uh, dealing with youths and there's so much even creating a space where we can partner with like-minded organizations that are um, um, working with youths. So there's still uh, a lot of and even uh, innovations coming up in place and Rose shared about um, where we can Top the talent of the youths uh, who are passionate in CAM to contribute um, in various government projects. And CAM for Dev, a youth leadership program, will give us a space where we can uh, we can learn, train such young people, so that even when they go out to uh, various organizations or even being assigned the projects, they're able to deliver. Thank you. Suvidia. Okay, any, any other group wants to talk? I can add some, um, some of the messages from our group. I didn't write um, anything down, but um, we talked a lot about like uh, financial challenges for young people to start in knowledge management and research, but in any field in general. Um, and we also talked about how it's difficult to know how to write cover letters and everything and how to navigate job applications um, and how there are paid services to help you with that. But that's also something that young people don't have access to. Um, so we're talking about supporting, um, like giving resources to support um, young people in that way. And we also talked about the importance of like social media, like LinkedIn and Facebook to uh, connect and like have access to job offers that sometimes aren't official. Um, and we also talked about um, mentorship and like creating like virtual spaces for um, people to uh, connect across different generations, but also like youth to youth um, connections. Um, anyone can from my group can also uh, feel free to add. Okay, well, thank you, Nat. Um, is there any other group? I think there was still one more, no? Okay, um, if there are no more groups, I will share the screen. I think Svidi is having problems with the connection. Uh, uh, Gladys, you want to take over? 
Uh, thank you, Rocha. I think now it's, uh, we are supposed to hand over to Tony to take us to the next session. Oh, okay. Tony? Yes, uh, thank you very much. Um, uh, seems like we are drawing down to uh, a close and I'd like to just run you through uh, the next steps after this um, knowledge cafe. I think I'd want to first start by appreciating that there has been very enthusiastic participation in this knowledge cafe. Uh, and quite some interest was also generated from the earlier messaging that went out to promote the cafe. So thank you all who made it to participate in today's um, Knowledge Cafe. I also want to just single out the facilitators, um, specifically Srividya, uh, who as it is now has been having some problems with her connection. So may not actually be uh, listening in, but has put in tremendous effort in thinking through and conceiving the format for, for this uh, Knowledge Cafe. Of course, supporting Srividya was a, a very able team of um, Rocio, um, Tina, who I think had to break off due to some um, work engagement, and, and, and Gladys. Um, thank you all for that. Um, as well know, from what Srividya had mentioned earlier, that uh, this Knowledge Cafe is the precursor towards the launch of a youth leadership forum that is scheduled for October. Um, it'll actually be, uh, the, the youth leadership forum would be on Thursday, October 21st. And uh, we look forward to your participation at that leadership forum where it's expected that a charter that is currently under development uh, would be launched. And this charter is currently a live document. Um, Srividya has shared a link to the charter on the chats. Uh, I encourage you all to continue giving your inputs into the development of this charter. Um, there are many ways in which um, you can do this, uh, including also participating in other km for dev um, activities. On the screen right now, uh, the various channels through which you can engage in further uh, participation and contributions. You can go to the D groups, and follow the e-discussions and make contributions, including contributions to refining the youth charter. Um, you can also tap into the rich resources that uh, have been curated on the uh, KM4Dev wiki, and the link is also on the screen. Um, the KM4Dev website also has a lot more information for those who would be new to um, KM4Dev on how you can participate actively in the various activities of the KM for Dev community. And there is also, for those who are academically inclined and wish to make, uh, you know, to share their knowledge in uh, a more academic format, uh, can learn more about the KM for Dev journal, which is published uh, regularly by the KM for Dev community. And there is an editorial board that uh, receives the submissions and conducts processes for improving the quality of the submissions of, of papers. There are also um, social media channels which you can interact with uh, the KM for Dev community. There is LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, YouTube, and Facebook. So I encourage you all to uh, follow this uh, very, you know, to use any of us to, to, to engage with the, with, the, with the community. 
Uh, I'll hand this back to Rosio so we can close. Yes, uh, just before you go, if you could write on the chat one takeaway that you take from this session. And remember, you can save your chat at the bottom where you, where you write, there are three points. So uh, if you want to look at the, what is written and take it with you, you can always uh, see it. So you, if you click on the, save, the three points and then you can uh, save it for yourself. At the same time, we will keep upload, updating the Padlet. So please, if at any time you still have any idea you want to add it, please feel free to add it or write to us so we can add it for you. Uh, just for you to know, um, the next Knowledge Cafe will be on 23rd of September on Liberating Structures. And the 21st of October, where we will have the Youth Leadership Forum. So please, before you go, uh, remember to uh, write your takeaway on the chat and you can save your chat and take it with you. Otherwise, this, uh, this uh, cafe will be uploaded in our YouTube channel. And if you still want to have access to the chat and you couldn't save it, just contact us and we will send it to you. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for your contributions. And yes, yeah, thank you, Tony, the Gladys, and Srividai, because she has really been the brain and the guru of all this effort. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, too. Thank, thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank Thanks, everyone. So we will have Bye. a small yeah, as true knowledge management practitioners, practitioners, we have uh, a small after action review continuing for a few minutes. So if you have time, please feel free to linger uh, and join us in reviewing how today's cafe went. Um, and uh, yes, look forward to the continuing of this conversation and some concrete actions from it uh, in the KM for Dev community. Please do join. Uh, the D groups. Hello, do we have fourth opportunity? Oh, we don't do. Yes, we can on our video.